Hey guys, Jim and Pokemon bringing you guys another PSA Returns today. This is a smaller one. It is an auto PSA Returns uh, signed by some pretty cool people. And so I'm excited uh, to get this one back. And I took a quick peek at what I sent off before I opened this. So um, I know there's one really special person here. I'm hoping we get a little redemption for him. Uh, Mr. Pat Flynn. So hopefully we can... Uh, you know, get something cool for him. Okay, so let's see if we can get these out. Oh no, oh no, Pat Flynn. Dude, I think you may not have redemption in here. Oh no, I'm so sorry, man. Oh no, dude, I sent this off before and um, they N4 his, uh, or N9 his uh, auto, which means basically like when you get a card back, they say that they can't, they don't have enough examples or copies or to verify the person. Or like they don't have enough confidence that the uh, auto is real. And so it's just a situation where you just get the card back and they don't charge you. And so um, one of these has that sort of designation. I'm not sure which one. So we'll take the paperwork um, off camera. And oh no, dude. I feel like it's going to be packed because they already um, in nine it before. So we'll see. So auto PSC returns. Here we go. Let's boom, boom, boom. Oh, dude, nice. That's so cool. Oh, dude, that's so cool. They case this one. I was a little worried about this one because it was smeared at the bottom. So because it's smeared like this, I just did authentic. So I didn't ask for a card grade, didn't ask for an auto grade. Um, and if you can guess who this is, it is Lou Ferrigno. And do you know why he's famous? Look at the Machamp. Look at all the muscles. He's evolving. He's getting bigger. The only difference is uh, uh, this guy was probably a little bit more green. Can you guess? Can you guess? He played the original Incredible Hulk. Uh, if you go back and look at the sitcom, the TV series uh, that he was in, it's it's literally like it, it, it feels like kind of silly to watch compared to like what we have today with Marvel and and everything. But this is the original Incredible Hulk. So I got this at a Collecticon for like 150 bucks uh, at one of the tables. That was kind of cool. That was interesting. It's a Machamp signed by him. Um, why not? So I thought that was really, really interesting. So a little Machamp action there. Oh, man. I almost want to look at the other autos. But, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. They didn't do this Ishihara. Okay. Dude, so that means Pat Flynn got a card signed. Okay, okay. So um, I got this from someone um, who went to Worlds and had this signed, but this is an Ishihara. The reason I didn't ask for a, um, an auto grade on this is because it's, like it's like a pen. It's really quick. It's small. But um, I do have some Ishiharas right here I could show you guys from another video that I've hopefully already posted because if not, I'm just ruining it right now. But um, here's like another example of like Ishihara. And so I bought these from the same seller who attended all the world's events. Um, I have no doubt that this was signed by Ishihara. Um, but again, just with the, sin, the, the signature, the pen strokes, um, kind of the pressure and stuff, I could see how this might be hard to like authenticate, especially like using a pen. And so this might just be one of those I just got to go back and, and try again um, or just kind of give them another example. But here's another example of an Ishihara. So this one uh, did not get the grade. And I was hoping it would just be authentic, uh, but unfortunately um, they couldn't approve it, so I got the refund no holder. And um, it is what it is. So uh, I can I have all the provenance in the world. So if you, uh, I mean, I'm not saying this is for sale or anything, but I'm just saying like I know I, I have full confidence this was signed by Ishihara. So a little unfortunate there. It didn't get in the case, um, but again, didn't get charged for it, so that's okay. So we got two of them. So this is an N9, and I guess this didn't get the uh, the sticker, so um, I'm not sure if it was an N something else or what have you. All right, next up, here we go. Here we go. Oh, Pat Flynn, what's up, bro? There we go, Pat Flynn Redemption. So if you've seen another video, I had a bunch of autos graded. Uh, Poker Rev, if, if you know what I'm talking about, got authenticated. Um, a lot of other people did, but for whatever reason, Pat Flynn didn't. And I was like, no, no, what, Pat? What's wrong with Pat? Uh, this deep pocket monster, in case you're uh, not aware. And so it's nice to see uh, Mr. Flynn actually have his card authenticated. So Pat... You're in there officially, buddy. Uh, Deep Pocket Monster, congrats on 500K uh, and all the success you've had in the hobby. I think your videos are top-notch, high quality, 
And um, I feel like they're just like the opposite of this. This is like sit down and talk. He, he's like, let me like take you in a movie. Like, let me give you like a 3D immersive experience and pose a question and pose thought and all these things. And it's just like, dude, he's just he's just genius what he does. And he deserves all the credit in the world for what he does because um, that is called hard work. And that is called hard work and like talent and skill and all that just coming together. So awesome job, Pat. The last card here, I think it's a Jimeno. Jimeno. So if you want to see what a Jimeno looks like, let's. Boom! Oh yeah, there we go. We got the Psyduck um, Jimeno with the uh, Roselia reverse foil. Uh, again, this auto was a little streaky, if you can see. So that's why I just had the authentic on the um, auto grade and the, the no card grade. So it's just authentic Jimeno. Pretty cool looking card there. Very very nice. Uh, very excited to get this. Again, got it from the same guy I got the Ishihara from, and um, it's pretty sick. I don't think I have another Himeno, um over here in the stack. Oops, he's, oh no, 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 don't don't fall over. It's okay, it's okay. I need to sleeve those cards, put a little sleeve on them. Uh, that's pretty cool, though. So a little old school Himeno with the Psyduck and that. And, um, I actually, the event hasn't happened yet, so I have no idea what the autos look like. If she's doing an inscription, a sketch, or if she's letting you do any Pokemon, or she's only picking three Pokemon, which is very common, only pick three. So I'm pretty excited to see kind of what comes out of the event. And this is a beautiful, beautiful old school Himeno, Um just with uh, all that. So it'll be interesting to see if her signature looks different in 2023 versus uh, when this was signed. So um, kind of cool there. And she has even older autos with different than this. This isn't like her oldest, so I just want to throw that out there too. Um, yeah, so quick little sub. We got the Himeno, the Pat Flynn, the Lou Ferrigno. And the poor Ishihara didn't get authenticated. Oh, no. It's okay. We'll figure it out. But thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.